is good everybody welcome back to another my name of toys video today we are back with some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys i feel like it's been a really long time since we've had some news i don't think we've had just a simple news drop in a very long time so it feels kind of be you know it feels good to be back in the desk at the chair here to break the news to you so we got some pretty cool stuff going on we got some talk from steve from mattel we got some interesting things taking place we had some ultimate edition news for us and we have some other things that we're going to address so this should be very fun man let's go ahead and dive into it if you guys did not know back at wrestlemania we got some new wwe ultimate edition figures showed off to us right we got to see the goldberg figure with the terrible smoke blowing face i i really i i just think the sculpt's a bit off you know it doesn't look quite right maybe it'll look better when it comes out out. But we also saw Roman Reigns, right? Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition 14. We also just saw Hulk Hogan and Mr. T in Ultimate Edition Series 13. Well, it's kind of weird because around WWE Ultimate Edition Series 14, there was some different stuff going on. We didn't know exactly what we were going to get, right? Because there was only one figure showed off. There were some rumors that it could be a couple guys, but we do have confirmation, and it is going to be a certain superstar that's one of my favorites of all time. Now, we thought it was going to be Rey Mysterio, but apparently it is no longer Rey Mysterio. We do have confirmation that it is going to be none other than Jeff Hardy. Yes, Jeff Hardy. It's kind of wild. The AEW superstar is going to get a WWE figure released here soon. So that is insane. I think that's so cool. I don't know if they're going to promote it per se, right? Because he's not in the company. You know, they didn't show it off at WrestleMania. They haven't shown it off in any promo images. I'm not entirely sure what the figure is going to look like. I We do have some information on it though, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that because we do have some information on it that I'm super excited about. I, I am in love with what we're getting here, so you guys can you know, just stick around and find out exactly Exactly what it's going to look like, but this is very interesting news. Jeff Hardy, a part of Edition Series 14, Ultimate Edition Series 14 with Roman Reigns, and it's very cool, man. We got some different details listed here that we're going to go through, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, Action Figure Attack, aka Steve from Mattel, did take to Twitter. He says, Ultimate Edition 14, Jeff Hardy. See, he didn't even put his name. Isn't that weird, man? I just think that's so weird. Like, he couldn't put Jeff Hardy. I just feel like it's very odd, right? The way they're all going about it, like, they can't post images, they can't do this, they can't do that. It's just very odd. Maybe there's just like contract obligations and you know like restrictions it's just very weird right the way legalities and ish goes but it goes late 2002 early 2003 era white pants two new heads new slimmer torso and new soft goods merch shirt now i do have a few images here that i'll plop up on the screen so you guys can get an idea of what we're going to get here so it's probably going to be very similar to the elite 75 but I imagine that it's going to be a lot better, okay? It's going to be a lot better. I think that they they heard us on the first Ultimate Fan Takeover edition, Jeff Hardy, with the Amazon exclusive. I think they heard our cries from the community. They said, you know what? This torso is way too damn big. It doesn't look right, and they fixed it. It says new slimmer torso, which should be pretty cool. Two new heads, which is going to be awesome. I'm guessing they're either going to re... I, I hope to God they won't. They may reuse the Elite 75 and then give us like a screaming head and maybe like a... I, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. I hope it's awesome. But I'm guessing that it's probably going to be a version of this right here. I'm popping up different images on the screen so you guys can see. Should be a sick-ass figure, man. You're going to have the zebra stripes on the pants. This can make for some epic fix-ups and customs. I'm hoping that this figure looks awesome. And I hope it looks a lot better than the Elite 75 because I was actually kind of disappointed in the Elite 75. I like the white tank top that we got. I like the different things we got with it. But it wasn't it wasn't Jeff Hardy in the head. I didn't like the head sculpt whatsoever. So hopefully this will be a whole lot better. It also says new soft goods merch shirt. So we'll get a brand new Jeff Hardy merch shirt right there, which is really awesome. I'm really hyped for the figure. I think it's going to be awesome. And, you know, to pair with Roman Reigns, this is going to be sick. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Hopefully images will be dropping soon. And we do have an update on reveals. And I I bet that's when we get to see the images of this guy, and I bet that's when this figure is probably going to come in stock really soon. I bet the end of May, we will see Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy release. Maybe early June, we'll have to see, but let's go ahead and get into our other news. So, Ultimate Edition Series 14, the other half of that series will be Jeff Hardy featured with Roman Reigns. Now, we do have some other things to, to talk about right here, and it is pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Somebody asked him on the forums, they said, Hey Steve, are there any reveals coming up soon and when will we see Elite 94 in box? And he replied to that and said, Next set of reveal images coming roughly mid-May. So I'm imagining that we'll probably get those around mid-May like he says here. And then you guys know as well as I do, as soon as they post up images to WWE.com or they do any sort of reveals on ringside, they like immediately, it's almost like clockwork, it's it's just, you know, it's like a ritual. Every time we see the images, whoa, 
what comes shortly after, Brad. It's going to be the pre-order, and then sooner or later, a month or so goes by, maybe a couple weeks, and bam, it's in stock. So I, I definitely imagine that to be the case, and they'll be going up for pre-order there, and it should be really awesome. So that is uh, what we expect there for the reveal images. Now, I don't know if it'll be Elite 94 featured there. I don't know exactly what they're going to do there, but I would imagine it's going to be Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy. So we will see that. We'll probably also see Goldberg, so that'll be really cool. And you guys know that SDCC is coming up relatively quickly. Not, you know, it's not like tomorrow or anything, but it's coming up on us. And then somebody also took to the forums and they said, hey, Steve, will MSK still be released in Elite Series 94? You guys know that we did see these figures revealed to us back at Mania Access. You guys know the whole deal there. If you didn't know that we did have some crazy drama stuff going on with MSK and Nash Carter did end up getting released and now, you know, his figure was in limbo. I, I heard people starting rumors that the figures were going to be canceled. Apparently, he squashes those those rumors here. He says, no changes in the Elite 94 lineup, so they are completely going to be coming out. So that that's awesome because those figures look incredible. I do have some problem with some, you know, some different formulas, some different parts choices here and there, but I love the shorts mold. I thought those figures looked phenomenal. I thought they looked just like MSK, and so that is really awesome because these figures look super sick. So that'll be really cool to get those figures released, and there's no changes to Elite Series 94. You guys know that Elite Series 93 just released, and Elite Series 94 should be following suit thereafter, and that will be awesome. But we also have sort of a little pre-order window about Ultimate Edition Series 14. Forgot to plug this in, and I don't know what website this comes from. I'm not sure exactly where it comes from, but it says WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition Series 14 Jeff Hardy 2002-2002. 2003 look white pants blue face paint and shirt i've already pulled up images of jeff hardy to show you guys exactly what it's going to look like but it should be really awesome man i'm really excited to see what we're going to get here this is obviously going to be our last jeff hardy figure for a long time or at least as far as mattel and wwe is concerned so we are going to get this sick ultimate edition you guys know that the top picks elite is warming at walmart so there's like 12 every single walmart i go to there's like a hundred of them so i don't know what the case is there but if you want jeff hardy mattel elites man you need to go grab these and you need to pre-order this ultimate hardy when it does eventually drop on the uh, on any website i guess it will be ringside collectibles there so you definitely want to go grab that but elite 94 has no changes we do have an ultimate jeff hardy coming out that i'm really excited about i think it's going to be awesome and I, I i like that they're changing the torso of the figure like steve said there hopefully we get great looking head sculpts hopefully the articulation is good and I wish they'd put him on ball joints. They probably won't, right? They never put him on fucking ball joints. But, you know, that's... Uh, oh, God. Another thing I just thought of is how crazy is it that literally Cody is in WWE getting an AEW figure and Jeff Hardy is in AEW getting a WWE figure, both in the Ultimate Edition line and the Supreme line. So I think that's so crazy how you have two big-name superstars in opposite companies getting figures in the top lines of those figure companies. Like, their top figure line that they have is getting represented there in both of those guys. So that's super crazy. But I had to get on here and break this news and talk about it. I know it's been out for a while there, so I do apologize for the lateness. I was out of town again this weekend, so I've been running around going crazy. But I thought that was pretty awesome. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below on Ultimate Edition Hardy. What do you guys think of all the different stuff? Let me know your thoughts on the news. Are you hyped for MSK figures? Are you hyped for everything going on? Let me know down below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cross the line, I've been